Hi, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Kishore and today we are going to discuss about hybrid inheritance. In last classes, we have discussed a single level inheritance, multiple inheritance, multi level inheritance and hierarchical inheritance. And now, today we are going to discuss about hybrid inheritance. Generally, hybrid inheritance means what? Which is also called multi path inheritance. Here, hybrid inheritance is also called multi path inheritance because of in hybrid inheritance or multi path inheritance what happens we are deriving the classes by using more than one level or more than one inheritance model ok. It is the process of deriving the classes by using of more than one combination means more than one type of uh, inheritance model. For example, here there is a class called student. Now, this student is having the marks derived class. Now, students also participating in sports. Now, it is another base class. Now, the student result is depended on both the subject marks and the sports quota. Okay? Suppose, the student is going to attend an interview. Now, what happens? Okay? For example, two students are attended for the interview two students attended for the interview, both the aggregate is same. Now, the priority goes to sports quota means in sports quota the student is selected. That means, here what happens one class is student class, it is the base class and derived class name is what marks. Here this one is called single level inheritance, it is the single level inheritance. Next, here another base class called uh, sports. Now, it is another base class. Actually, here it is what derived. Okay. Now, we are deriving this new class. What it is? Result from marks and sports. That means, now what it is? Multiple. Okay. It is multiple inheritance. That means, in this example, we are discussing both the single level inheritance as well as multiple inheritance. That means, what we are using more than one inheritance model. That is why it is called hybrid inheritance or which is also known as multi path inheritance. Okay? Here, it is single level, it is the multiple. Next, not only this one. For example, here one base class from this two derived classes. Now, from these two derived classes, once again another derived class. Here, what it is called? It is called hierarchy. Now, what it is called? It is the multiple. That means, in this combination, we are using hierarchical and multiple. That is why now it is called hybrid inheritance. Okay? Like this, we are having several examples for hybrid inheritance. Now, I am going for the implementation part. Now, I am going to give the same example student marks sports result. Now, how to conduct this example? First, uh, common header files hash include iostream.h, next hash include conio.h. Now, I am going to declare the first base class that is student. Now, the student is having id number as usual and name. Now, I want to read the data, then public void, here I want to read the student id number name, that is why void get student, void get student, see out, enter student id name. Now, I want to enter the student id and name. Next, scene id name. Now, here we have entered the student id name. Later, we have to print the student id name. For that, what we are going to use? Put student. Now, I am not going to use the put student. Why? Because already it is displayed on the screen. Now, already id number name is 
displayed on the screen that is why once again printing is waste that is why here it is the first base class now it is the base later I am going for another class class marks ok. Now it is derived from student class now what happens all the student properties are passed to marks class and here I am going to use protected here protected because of I want to use the marks in result class ok. Private members are not available for inheritance that is why we have to go for protected data. Now INT max physics chemistry for example, now in public area void get marks it is the another class and here we are going to enter marks three subjects marks now C in max physics and chemistry finish now this class also completed here we are reading the student id name using get student here we are entering three subject marks using get marks now i am going to declare one more class that is class sports ok and here marks is also what derived class marks also one derived class next class sports now it is a base class because of it is not going to derive from any another class the now class sports is there and here int sp marks means sports marks next uh, in public area I want to enter void get uh, sports now what happens it is going to read the sports marks see out enter sports marks see in sp marks now class close actually here we are reading the three subjects marks and here we are reading the sports marks now based on this marks and sports we have to determine the student job ok or eligibility now watch this class it is the result class result now I want to find out the student result public marks and public sports and here one point we have to determine here we are reading sports marks suppose the student is participated in sports we have to enter 5 percent quota otherwise 0 that means if the student is participated in sports we have to enter 5 marks otherwise 0 marks that means what when 5 marks is there additional 5 marks are added to the subject marks that is why here I am going to write like this what it is result class here first of all I want to find out student total and here average now in public void show I want to show the student result first uh, total total is getting from m plus p plus c that means it is the subject wise total actually subjects are available in marks class and already marks are declared at protected members when they are protected we can use the protected members in derived class also ok now there is no problem with the total next average we are finding the average from total actually total is the member of a result class that is why there is no problem total by 3.0 for accurate value next here important thing we have to print the result that means see out first print the total now the total is printed later we have to print the average also now average is printed now I want to print student uh, average and uh, sports quota now so for that I am going to write like this see out ok average plus uh, sports marks equal to now first average and plus sp marks but here one important point we have to discuss what is means here average average is a local member means data member of that same class that is why there is no problem 
but here SP marks, SP marks are the member of sports class. Okay? Here SP marks is the member of sports class. We know that one private member of class, okay? class private members are not available in other classes. Okay? Now, how to access this means what? Once again, we have to declare protected, that is why just to declare sports marks also using protected. Now, we can use the sports marks in derived class also. That is why here total is there, here average is there, here sports marks and average. Now, function closed and class also closed. Now, total how many classes are declared? It is a student based class, it is the marks derived class and sports based class and result is once again the derived. Now, here the class is derived from only one class that is why here it is the example for single level and here result is derived from both marks and sports. Now, it is the multiple inheritance that means, in this example I have covered both the single level inheritance as well as multiple inheritance. Now, it is called hybrid or multipath inheritance. Now, main function, we have to call the member function that is why main function. In main function, first of all we have to derive the object that is why result r. Now, it is the derived class object. When derived class object is created, what happens? All the base class members also pass it to derived class and memory is allocated. That means, student members, marks, sports, for all these members the memory is allocated along with the total and average. Now, access the members. First, I want to read the student personal data means ID name. That is why R dot get student. Okay. Here what happens? Student ID and name is going to store. Next, I want to store the student marks. That is why get marks. Now, it is going to read the student 3 subject marks. Next, I want to read the sports marks. That is why here get sports r dot. Now, it is storing the sports marks and at last I want to show the result. That is why r dot show. Okay. Suppose student participated in sports, we have to enter here 5 marks, otherwise we have to enter 0 that is impacted on average plus sports mark. Now, get ch program it is how to conduct a hybrid or multipath inheritance okay thank you